courageous queen braves a bomb threat as she arrives on Tyneside to officially open the metro. But it was flowers all the way as thousands turned out to greet her. Hello again. Well, that attempt to mar the royal visit came at the opening of the new metro bridge over the Tyne. Because of a bomb square, the Queen's opening speech and official naming were cut from her schedule. But she insisted on going ahead with the opening ceremony itself, carrying on a, a royal tradition involving Tyne bridges. The latest is called the Queen Elizabeth Bridge. Later in the programme, we'll be hearing about the police warning to pensioners after killing in Cleveland and the drug raid on a ship that's still being searched by a customs squad. But first, we get underway with that royal visit to the region and our special report from Phil Martin and Tony Cook. Excited onlookers had started to gather while the Queen and Prince Philip were having breakfast on the royal train in sidings outside Newcastle. At ten, when the royal party arrived in the city, there were thousands of people lining the route, leaning from windows and standing on parapets. Under the watchful eye of parliamentary reformer Earl Grey and a lone policeman with binoculars at the top of his statue, the Queen and the Duke were given a right royal welcome. A royal visit is always special, but today it was more so, coming only a day after the announcement that the Queen is to be a grandmother again. All police leave was cancelled, and it was a full turnout too for the city's road sweepers who made the streets and the roads sparkle in the autumn sunshine. Underground, in the Monument Station, both the Queen and the Duke were fascinated by the Metro's revolutionary new ticket machine. The Duke said it was just the ticket. On board the Metro, the Royals became the first passengers to travel on the latest line from Monument to Hueth, and they were in the first carriage next to the driver. The only thing to mar today's royal occasion was a bomb threat. It was expected that the Queen would make a speech while opening the sixth bridge, built at a cost of six million pounds, to carry the metro a thousand feet above the river. But because of the threat, the bridge opening was cut short, but the Queen had insisted on performing the opening ceremony nonetheless, keeping up a royal tradition of time bridge openings. The new bridge is naturally enough named after the Queen, the Queen Elizabeth II Bridge. Over the bridge at Gateshead, the Queen officially opened the entire metro system, built at a cost of £287 million and amidst a lot of difficulties. That point was not missed by Her Royal Highness. There were difficulties along the way, but with typical Geordie determination, they have been overcome. You can be proud of the result. The benefits are already being felt, not just here, in Tyne and Weir, but up and down the country. New jobs have been created, and I understand that keen interest is being shown from abroad by others trying to solve their own transport problems. I wish the county and its transport system well, and I have great pleasure in declaring the Tyne and Weir metro system open.